Hello, this is Asher Kanoon, Senior Director of Technical Marketing with Pulse Secure, and today we're going to look at a few 9.0 release highlights. So Pulse Secure's customers trust that security is our top concern, so with every release comes more features and enhancements to further harden our solutions. Let's take a look at a few security highlights across Connect Secure, Policy Secure, and our mobile and desktop client. All right, the two uh, security features that I want to highlight are threat aware firewall integration that really has to do with the policy secure side and also the remote session federation across firewall. So let's look at the first one. So when we have a firewall that's protecting a resource, one of the things, this is any resource, one of the things that we want to make sure is that any device that's accessing uh, this resource, we're aware of it. So in this case, we have some laptops, we have some mobile devices, here's um, policy secure. So as these devices are accessing this uh, resource, the firewall is looking at anomalies that may be happening, there might be things uh, around vulnerabilities, there's a lot of different ways that the firewall uh, might see what's going on. In this case, if we're talking about Palo Alto Networks firewall, it might be wildfire is running, uh, and it detects that this mobile device that's connected on the wireless side, or this laptop that might be in a docking station connected through a wired interface, might be doing something. So as they detect this anomalous behavior, uh, the firewall will actually send information back to uh, Policy Secure which is really the central decision point at this time. And then uh, Policy Secure can make a decision on how to react. It could be something that simply just logs. Uh, it could be something that it enforces. So the few mechanisms of enforcing can be, it can uh, put this device in a remediation VLAN. It can uh, possibly change the role of the user uh, to limit the access. Or it can actually disable the user so that the user cannot authenticate again. So if you, if you trigger uh, this one time, you might want to remediate the device. If you see that the device immediately gets back on the network after remediation and uh, gets, uh, continues to do the anomalous behavior, you can tell PPS to automatically disable this user. Again, this is uh, great for security, but it's also automated. The firewall detects it and the policy secure reacts. The next thing we're going to look at is remote session federation uh, across a firewall. So in this case, we're going to look at PCS sitting on the edge, and now the, these same end users are outside. So these same users on a mobile device or on a laptop are connected through VPN. As soon as the connection to VPN happens, um, one of the things that we do is we create a federated session between PCS and PPS. And the reason why that's important is as soon as this user tries to go to a protected resource behind the firewall, the firewall wants contextual information. It wants to know who the user is, what group are they in, uh, what the device compliant state is, what the device type is. There's a lot of things related to uh, role-based access control that the firewall wants to know. For an internal user, when they're accessing something in uh, here, there's a session that PPS has, and it updates the auth table. For users that were remote, previously, this would be a two-step process. You would authenticate into PCS, and as soon as you tried to go to the resource, you would have to authenticate to PPS so that the firewall had a user session. With the new release of 9.0, now we're making the experience easier, which enables more security. So now, as soon as the user logs into PCS, there's going to be a session here. The session gets sent to PPS. As soon as this user tries to traverse the network and get through the firewall, the firewall will get that same session that was federated, pass it back here. Now there's an entry for this user on the auth table of the firewall, and the user can access the resources. They don't really have to do anything extra. The admin doesn't have to go and enable anything new. It, it's all seamless integration between the whole Pulse Secure solution. To learn more, please visit www.pulsesecure.net. Thank you.